大家好，我是陈老师，欢迎大家来上 Learning Chinese with Joy。今天我们要来上我的学校长荣大学。今天的学习目标 ：Students are expected to learn Chinese about the campus， 学会校园建筑 ；Understand Chinese for the classroom， 学会上课用语。三 understand and recognize the related Chinese characters. 了解并认识相关的汉字。四 hold a conversation. 应用所学与对话。首先，我们来看一下花花草草 flower flower grass grass. <笑>是的，我们学校有很多花花草草。左边是兰花，右边是草花。You have noticed that in Chinese we like to use repetition. Why? Because the Chinese is a tonal language. Sometimes we would like to create the rhythm. It is sound more pleasant to the ears. 花花草草 literally mean 花花。Flower, flower, 草草 grass, grass. But of course, we know we are talking about plants. 好 how to change singular to plural by adding the plural marker men to any pronouns and nouns. A plural noun or pronoun is formed. See, 我我们你你们他他们朋友 ，a friend， 朋友们 ，friends， 老师 ，a teacher， 老师们 ，teachers。However， sometimes the marker men at the end of nouns is redundant， and we native speakers tend to omit them. For example， we have many friends。我们有很多朋友。So， rule number one， well， you don't need。To add men to nouns. However, however, we means we. 你们 means you. Plural. You still need to add men to the end of the pronoun. Repetition in Chinese, as I just talked about, and the Mandarin Chinese, as well as many other dialects in China or Taiwan, is a tonal language, which stresses the tones and rhythms. For this reason, repetition is common, so as to create the rhythmic feel. Simply put, repetition is used to convey the beauty of the beat or the rhythm. For example. 大大小小，开开心心。You can say I'm happy. 我开心。But 开开心心 just sound more poetic. 平平安安 ，safe and sound. 花花草草。So in a way, when we talk about 平平安安 ，in English, you. Usually say be safe and sound. Remember the alliteration safe and sound, right? Again, okay. The language is trying to create the rhythm, the beauty. 听听 you can say 听 listen, okay? 听音乐 listen to music. But when you say 听听音乐 it sounds more relaxing. 听听音乐 Or 看看书 Of course, you can say 看书 read the books. But when you say 看看书 again, it creates the relaxation and the rhythm. 说说 speak, say, tell, or talk. 你可以看看美丽的艺术品 at my school. You can. Look at. You can see beautiful artworks. This is the artwork installed in the library. 焚而不毁 And this is the artwork outside the third teaching building. 洗脚里你可以看看美丽的艺术品可以 can may be able to. 
For example, 我可以上厕所吗 ？May I go to the toilet? 我可以休息一下吗？可以吃东西吗 ？May I eat? 可不可以喝东西 ？Remember, 可以 blah blah 吗 ？Means may I? And again, Chinese likes to use repetition. 可不可以 ？May I or may I not? 可不可以 ？Basically, mean the same thing as 可以 blah blah 吗？可不可以便宜一点 ？This is the sentence you need to say to the shopkeeper or boss at the night market. Can I get a better price? 可不可以便宜一点？可以 ，Yes, you may. 不可以 ，No, you may not. 我们也有各种的活动。This is taken at the Commencement ceremony. We have different kinds of events. For example, example, music, concert, exercise, track and field game, Xiaoqing school anniversary celebration, different kinds of events, a variety of competitions, graduation ceremony, commencement ceremony. 我们学校交通非常方便 ，the transportation is very convenient. 校园里就有火车站 ，there is a train station on campus. This is the train station, and this is the train. 各种交通工具怎么说 ？How do you say a variety of transportation mode? 走路 to walk, 骑脚踏车 to ride a bike, 骑摩托车 to ride a moped or motorcycle, 坐公车坐巴士 to take a bus, 坐火车 take a train, 坐飞机 to take a plane, 开车 To drive. So, 你怎么去上学 How do you go to school? 我坐飞机去美国。<笑>坐飞机。你怎么去美国？我坐飞机去美国。Here, I'd like to point out the sentence pattern. You have to understand. You have to learn the statement first. 我坐飞机去美国。坐飞机 is the transportation. So in English, you say, "How did you go to America?" How the WH word. You need to move it to the beginning of the sentence. But in Chinese, no, we are too lazy to move anything. <laughs> We just replace 怎么 how with 坐飞机 the transportation mode. Hopefully, you understand what I mean. 我们开车去台北 So, if you want to ask, where do you drive to? Again, you don't move anything. You just replace where with 去台北 So. 我们开车去台北。We drive or we drove to Taipei. How did you? Where did you drive? Where did you drive? 你们开车去哪里？去哪里 ？Where to? 校园里有很多建筑，当然也有很多可爱的学生。左边是学校的 playground 运动场，右边是学校的图书馆。左边是运动场，后面是图书馆、行政大楼，还有宿舍。右边是图书馆。
我们有壮观的校门。Here I'd like to review. 白天的 CJCU 很壮观。早上 morning 中午 noon 下午 afternoon。我早上八点十分有课。This is another sentence pattern I'd like you guys to learn. 早上八点十分 ，remember in Chinese when talk about time or places, we always put the bigger unit first. 早上八点十分 ，literally morning eight o'clock ten minutes. Okay. 有课 ，and that's the verb. Okay, because time is very important in Chinese. Because in Chinese, we don't have past tense, present tense. We don't care about the tenses. That's why we need to put the time at the very beginning of the sentence, so you know what we are talking about. Is it in the present or in the past or in the future? Okay, remember, time is important in Chinese. So we put time at the beginning of the sentence. I have a class at eight ten in the morning. 我早上八点十分有课 Yes, no question. Remember the question marker 吗？你早上八点十分有课吗？你早上八点十分有没有课？有没有课 ？Remember, we always repeat the most important information. If you have a class at eight、uh, ten, 有我有课。If you don't have classes at eight ten, 没有不我没有课。This is 傍晚的时候 These are the photos I took at different times at、uh, CJCU campus. 安静，安静。傍晚的时候很安静 Don't you think? And the color is just beautiful, gorgeous. 舒压 It's stress relieving. It's relaxing, 令人放松 You can, 傍晚的时候 in the evening you can 散步 take a stroll, take a walk, 聊天 talk to your friends. You can also talk and walk, 散散步聊聊天 Notice that I tend to use repetition, 散散步聊聊天。晚上的时候 ，at night or in the evening， 你可以看看书，追追剧，听听音乐，吃吃东西，喝喝饮料。Here. That's a review, and it's your turn to remember and apply the stuff that we have just learned. E, I can read. The answer is B, 读读书 R, I can play computer games. C, 玩电脑游戏三 ，I can eat 包子。一，吃吃包子。四 ，I can drink pearl milk tea。D， 喝喝奶茶。五 ，I can listen to music， 听听音乐。F， 六 ，I can study Chinese online， 上线上中文课。This is my school, CJCU. 这是我的学校，长荣大学。Hope you enjoy today's class, and it's your turn.
to talk about your school, your campus. On December twenty second and twenty third, you are gonna have your semester and a presentation. Hopefully, you can introduce your school to all the participants and me and TAs. Thank you again, and see you next time. Bye.